What's up and good morning guys. How are you? Alex here from Hopper with another video for you guys. But before we get further into this video, I feel only fitting. All right, now let's go. We're gonna be jumping back onto the Monster Hopper build. For you guys that don't know, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Old returning viewers, followers, subscribers, whatever you guys wanna call yourself, family, welcome. Let me kind of get you guys caught up real quick on what is going on and what we've been working on and what we've been building. Behind us right here, we have a Monster Hopper. And we're calling it the Monster Hopper because it belongs to Monster Energy. So for those of you guys that don't know and haven't been following, let me kind of get you guys up to date on what's going on here. Monster Energy jumped on as a title sponsor for the Lowrider Tour this year. Along with that, we are too. We've been a, a long time sponsor and supporter of Lowrider events. And I think we're going on a year like 13 or 14, like continuously. And each year just keeps getting bigger and bigger and the shows keep getting better and better. Well, this year Monster Energy jumped on as a title sponsor. And well, Monster Energy wants to put on a show for you guys. So Lowrider grabbed all of us, all of us sponsors that are already involved into this. Uh, s &K, which did the amazing paint job on this. Luxor Wire Wheels, which supplied the super cool, crazy powder coated uh, 13th, actually 14th on this car. Uh, House of Colors, which supplied all the paint. Hoffos, us, which are supplying and building the full chassis, the hydraulics, the installation. We also have Curry Enterprises with Curry rear ends. You guys know them. We got tons and tons of uh, cool rear ends that we are now stocking, but they are also a tour sponsor as well. Dice One is also on board with us. And of course, Lowrider. And uh, well, we have a car we have to build for you guys, and this car is it right here. Now for us, the tricky part is, we're trying to squeeze this into our already busy schedule for the, all the whole Lowrider tour. So we travel and hit every single stop on the tour for the last two years now. And well, that's a lot of work. But we said, let's push our limits and let's push the boundaries and let's get on board with this build and let's get something for you guys to see as an exhibition hopper. So we teamed up together with all of us. We've had major meetings. We've gone to the monster headquarters and well, we decided to build a nice crazy, uh, I should say a crazy, a crazy monster hopper called El Monstro. But there's also a lot of other companies that have jumped on board with us that we've had good relationships with, that SNK had good relationships with, like Coffin Muffler, also Rigid Lighting. Those guys all jumped on board as a sponsor as well with this. So can you hit the lights real quick? Hey, look at that. That is 24 rigid rock lights on the bottom of this thing. So right now, let me kind of get you guys going on this. We'll get to the working into the live action. We are getting the pumps installed. We got the batteries installed in the last video. Most of it installed. We got all the jumpers in. So now we got to do the final wiring on the batteries. Also, we got to do all the pumps. So this is what we're working with right now. Being that this car is going to be on tour and going to be pretty much on a trailer its whole life, touring from show to show to show, and wherever monster wants this thing to be at we don't have the luxury of having a shop and being able to pull it in as easy as you know most people could hop a car and take it back to their shop or take it back to their house so for us we have to build in pretty much a workstation a workbench so we're working and building everything in place on here so you're seeing four pistons but technically this car is only going to be running two pistons as of right now two pistons to the nose two are backup and then you got your rear pumps down here with all of our solenoids and then extra solenoids for each setup. So it's looking like a lot, it's looking crazy, but remember when this thing breaks down, because I say when, it's going to, but when this thing breaks, because we're putting massive power, we're putting 20 Odyssey batteries in this guy, and this thing needs to function and work to the next show. So if something breaks, we have to be able to grab the hoses from this one, swap it right over to that one, grab the power cable, swap it right over, that way we could have a functioning pump and then work on these separately. That way the car's not down. Ultimately, that makes it really tricky for us because we're pretty much putting product for two vehicles in one vehicle. So we're having to make the space, put it all in there, fit it, and still make it all functional and work properly. So that's where we're at right now. Today, our goal on this car is to get the pumps finalized, to get the wiring finalized, to get the hoses finalized. And hopefully we can start bleeding and priming this thing so we could actually get power and fluid all the way to the front of this car. 
But before we get any further, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that like button, that comment. Drop a comment below. Tell us what you guys think of this thing so far. If you guys haven't shared this channel or this video to any of your buddies, make sure you guys send it out. All that little stuff that you guys can do helps us in the long term because we make these videos for you guys. The lady of the, the man of the hour gets down into his position. Daddy chill. That he's so well known for. Hey Vic, can you give our uh, subscribers a, a hi, a hello? Not be so rude. What happened? What happened? There you go, there you guys go, there's Vic. Lovely Vic, a beautiful Vic. Getting down into position. You mean business today. What the hell is even that? But before we get any further, now let's go. Adon's still working on getting all the solenoids all wired up. But right now, I got my little stubby, my little shorty wrench uh, covered up on the back side for cross tape. Just in case, hey, don't work with high voltage like this. I, I just like to take precautions. Now I know, obviously, just don't drop it, right? But easier said than done. I want to wrap it up just in case. I only left exposed what I need to use. So let's get these tightened up. What's each one reading right now? 17.4 17 plus volts 17 plus volts What about this one? And that's on a single 17.4 on a single Odyssey 17.4 And this is only a 12 volt checking each battery individually So right now we're reading a little high uh, which is kind of a little concerning being that What were you saying right now six batteries of these Are equaling eight standard group 31s doing the final wiring on the batteries R came out to check each one and see how everything's going right now What's kind of concerning is these batteries are reading super hot super high 17.4 uh, voltage on each individual battery so just like a standard group 31 would or what we're standardly used to those would read out you know on a high on a high charge 13.5 13.7 that's like super hot off the charger standard everyday use you're gonna read them like 12.6 12.7 12.8 so being that they're hitting 17 us running six batteries in series right now is almost equaling up it's actually equaling up to about the same or if not a little bit more of running eight batteries straight on a standard system so that's kind of things we're kind of looking into right now and we're gonna see how it's gonna do i think the only way to really figure it out is really just just test it tomorrow he's gonna wonder man why am i sore Probably. <laughs> uh, doing installs on stuff like this imagine if you had upholstery in here right now you'd really be crammed up in a yoga ball thank you SK, for not putting upholstery i know thank you for no upholstery upholstery will be going in after so you guys will be seeing this as a completed car once all the testing and all the you know bugs get worked out so far he's got the front hoses already attached everything ran centered ran uh, when we get the carpet we probably will be running a slit through the center of the carpet uh, we just didn't want to see any hoses on the bottom side being that this car is going to be photographed a lot we want to still make it look really really clean as far as the cabling most of the cables are done there's a few more that we're making up front right now uh van's on that right now and he's I think he has like six or seven cables that he has to do. Actually, he's doing them right here. All 
All right, gracias. Yes. All right, here's some extra cables. These are gonna be our cables from our solenoids to our motors. And these are gonna be for our back pumps right now. To do list. Oh. I feel like the list is not that long, but I feel like as I start writing stuff down, it might get a little longer. Oh, dry shot. Uh, window tint, full pressure. Oh. I'm, it's too early. I'm pulling a brain fart right now. I mean, this is a lot still, but I felt like the list was gonna be two pages long. Dry shot, dry shot, slip yoke. Slip yoke is sitting right here. You gotta clean it up, get it in. Grease it and then get it in. Uh, batteries are done in the rear. It's got full power. I have full power from batteries into the pumps. I'm gonna leave that though, because the window tinner has to come. I don't wanna have light power in there with the window tinners here. Is that it? I'm I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of questionable or unknown yet too. Like obviously adjusting and, and tuning and fine tuning uh, as we test the car, which I can't put that down until we really get the car done. That's gonna happen all after the fact. But right now, wow, that's actually not bad. I guess we did pretty good progress the last two days. I feel like there has to be more. There's going to be a lot that pop up, I guarantee it. There's going to be a lot that pop up after the fact. Uh, I know rear hoses are all tightened, front hoses are all tightened. We're obviously going to have to crack the front hoses as we bleed. The rear, we should be okay. Uh, hey, well, guys, I guess this is only the list. It's not too bad. I mean, I could probably fill pistons, that's like 10 minutes. Full power for batteries, I can't do that until after the window tinner comes. Side envelopes, I should probably start working on that now. Drive shaft and slip, tire pressure, window tint, rear switches. I could probably do rear switches, get the switches finally mounted. Uh, we have them mounted, but I had to pull them out again yesterday and check color code just to double check it. So, I guess we're not making too bad progress. There's only, today is Wednesday. I leave out of town again Friday. So, uh, technically today and tomorrow, we need to be testing tomorrow. Uh, that leaves us Monday if we really have to. Which, again, we do a lot of these projects here under the time restraints of our normal hours. We try not to do the late hours. Now, it happens, don't get me wrong. We just try to avoid it. And this whole week, we've avoided it just because we know the late hours are gonna come as we start testing. Because uh, once we start testing and stuff goes wrong or goes south or doesn't work right, we have to make adjustments and, and tweak stuff that's when the late and long hours come in. So try not to do that until we really, really have to. As of right now, let's get going, I guess. So we just finished wiring up all the switches. We got front, back, corner, corner. Uh, right now, Adan's getting all the oil topped off on all the pumps. Wiring is I almost done. The only thing we haven't done is pulling the power from the back batteries to the main solenoids, just because we still have window tinner coming later today. So we don't want to have that issue of him leaning on something getting zapped. So we're pull, leaving power in the trunk right now. For right now, we're doing this. We just got a text message from Brian. He's gonna be coming down tomorrow. Um, Lowrider's coming down tomorrow. They're gonna be doing some shooting, some filming, and also picking up the trailer. So we're trying to get everything dialed in. Uh, we got our list. Uh, I did check off a few things though. Let me show you guys real quick. Philip Pistons, check out the list. Rear switches, done. Uh, tire pressure. We're going to do tire pressure right now. Get that taken care of. Window tint's coming at three, 2 to 3 p.m. today. Dry shaft and slip is sitting right here. Side emblems. That's something I got to sit down and program real quick. And then uh, pull batteries from, or pull power from batteries. All right, we're going to try to get this guy fired up here.
Fire it up. Fire it up. Woo. That sounds good. Nice little cold start for you guys right there. She's been sitting for a few days now, so. I mean, not so cold over here. We're probably in our 60s right now. We're gonna hit 70 as soon as this, this uh, haze drops over or uh, clears up. But these coffin muffler exhaust. Woo, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Man, I'm excited. Obviously right now we don't have no driveline in it. Uh, so we're just doing a, a fire up. We had the battery on charge. Uh, just cause we've had the doors open, the lights on and stuff like that. So we wanna make sure we go fire right up. But right now, pumps are good. Front tire pressure is good. We're about to scoot this guy forward um, just to get the back tire pressure all set. And we should be good. Uh, checking out the list, checking out the list, baby. Woo, today's one of those days where we did a lot of work. I swear, I promised you guys we did a lot of work. But it just doesn't look like we did a lot of work. It's kind of disappointing, right? Cause you go and we spend all day doing a whole bunch of stuff. And you go and step back and it looks exactly the same how we did yesterday. A lot of the fine tuned wiring, we went ahead and hooked um, the ground together today. We did some tapping, we did some testing, made sure all the grounds and everything was working and triggering each dump individually. So far, everything's looking good. But so far, the only thing that's lacking is we needed side emblems that we still had to do. So I just spent the last of a good hour and a half redesigning some logos and some emblems for the side of the hopper. And here's some logos. We're gonna do it uh, multi-layer. So it's actually gonna be paint on the background and then polish on the top so working on building and designing those out getting those correct uh, a lot of going back and forth making sure the logos are all correct you know I had to do what I had to do to make these all hold together instead of having a whole bunch of individual pieces trying to get squared up so um, this is looking good in my opinion hopefully everything else looks good once it gets all together I gotta cut two more pieces here Here's the last of the logo in I need. Let's get this guy squared up over here. So AJ's been uh, running around grabbing parts, some of the last minute stuff that we've been needing. We got a few things that are very crucial and very important to this build. Fire suppression. So we're gonna actually put in a built-in fire suppression system into this car. That way we don't have to lug around and carry around fire extinguishers. It comes with a bottle. Comes with the bottle, comes with all the lines, uh, comes with all the nozzles and fittings right here. So uh, we opted out for, well, we opted for the triple nozzle, the triple nozzle system with a uh, hard line and also dual pull cable. We're doing a dual pull cable. That way we can have one in the front of the car and one in the rear of the car as well. That way we could activate it just in case if anything ever happens, we could activate it from either the driver's seat or from the uh, trunk section so fire suppression is a big thing a, a thing that most people ignore in our industry even though we are running so much high high freaking voltage system that it is very important so this is our first time person using this uh, i'm very interested in this and i think this could really save a lot of cars so uh, i'll let you guys know i'm getting everything prepped and ready right now at the same time we have window tinner here windows ready to get the tinted we didn't make it easy for him with uh, the pumps in the way right there, but uh, Stark window tint. Man, these guys uh, came in clutch a few times already for us. They actually did our red truck. I set him on this one, hit him up yesterday. I was like, hey, we need windows tinted like ASAP. When can he be here? He's like, I'll be there tomorrow at three. So the windows are getting tinted right now. That is the reason why we didn't pull power into the actual pumps yet, because we didn't want him to accidentally drop anything. You know, we're familiar with the setups, but a lot of other people aren't. So we wanted to make sure that he was going to be safe. At the same time, we also have Yoda detailing here. Uh, he's getting the truck all detailed up. Uh, I was gone this weekend, the truck got filthy. So he's out here getting the truck all washed up, cleaned up. Being a quality detailer, I always tag him on IG, Yoda detailing on IG because man, he gets down, he shows up when he's supposed to, and uh, he always delivers exactly like he's supposed to. So that is all getting done right now. Fire suppression is in the works. Uh, they're also cutting, or actually I just finished cutting and they're polishing by hand right now a whole bunch of emblems and stuff uh, for the side of the car, which we're working on as well. My good buddy over at Stark Window Tint just left. He just finished everything up and didn't. we really didn't do exactly what we originally planned on doing. Originally what we planned on doing was just murdering out limo out the windows. 
But then we kind of thought about it. We got a nice plaque we got to put up in the back window. And the front dash is all painted up. The patterns pull so nice into the dash. The pumps don't look horrible. They look good. The upholstery is getting done. We just end up deciding to do just the side windows. We left the front windows and the rear windows completely blank stock. And we just went with a really light 35% just to get that factory smoke tint look. That makes sense. Um, I think it actually, it's not a huge like, oh my God, dramatic difference. And then visually and like in person, I could see it. But when I put it on camera, you don't really notice it that much. So you can see it a little bit. It, it definitely darkens it up just a little bit on the camera. And you can definitely see it when I stand like, like right here. Cause you can see that quarter window, that little small one versus like the windshield. So it definitely put a clean look to it. Has that smoke look to it. And I'm actually glad we went this route. In the beginning, I was a little kind of disappointed. I was like, oh, I really want limo. And then like the more and more I look at it, I'm like, I'm actually glad that we couldn't put the limo on because of the plaque and the dash. And I'm actually really happy with the way this is looking. In the end, I guess everything works out how it's supposed to, how it should. So I'm glad with that. Now it is, oh, try, try to turn these lights off. Um, it is late. It's uh, I think about 7.30 or 7.45, let's see. It's actually 7.50 right now. Sun's going down behind me and we got a lot of work to do. I was working on it right now since I couldn't be in the car while the tinning guy was here, Matthew. I was actually working on the gauge setup. So I designed out a gauge setup just to uh, pretty much be able to read the four piston pumps. And you can see I labeled them. Uh, it's kind of hard with the shadow and the lighting, but it says main pump, front left, front right, monster logo, and then backup pumps, front left, front right. And then I have gauging for each one. Everything's all m mounted and ran. So got to get this mounted up into the car and plumb in the pistons into this. That way we have remote uh, Schrader valve set up. That way we don't have to climb into the trunk and make it all difficult. So this definitely came out really good. I'm glad the way this looks now is just getting this in the car. So I was still able to make some progress with uh, him still being here, still move forward, checking stuff off the list here. Looks like so far is just pull the power from the batteries. Now I could do that because he's gone. When I say he, uh, talking about tin, I didn't want to have any power there because I didn't want anybody getting hurt. So now we can do that. Side emblems are being polished as we speak and then uh, drive shaft and slip yoke. And then from there, we just get into the, the testing stage. Good towel has been one of those busy days and crazy days when your workbench looks like your toolbox threw up on Like there is just crap everywhere. I normally hate working like this, but in these big projects, it tends to kind of happen. Uh, with so many people kind of jumping in and out, we put tools down and then you can't find them and then you go get more tools and you drop them down. And at the end of the day, you end up with a table full of just junk and snacks and monsters and tubing and just a whole bunch of stuff but i need to get to work we got some more work ahead of us um right now is my favorite time the shop is quiet nobody's here everyone's gone for the night i can focus on what i gotta do and just hit it and get the job done all right guys so we ended up mounting uh the fire suppression pull cables Whew. that was about the only thing i was able to get done after tin i got the gauges and uh the piston pump assembly, uh, I guess as far as the Schrader valve and all that, all dialed in. Now he's got to finally mount it. So I'm going to do all that tomorrow. Get the truck, uh, actually the car all wiped up. I can't even speak right now. I'm tired. It's late. It's about 9 o'clock. Time to go home, call it a night, and jump right back on it tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are back for another day. And I don't know why I feel like I'm losing my voice. Uh, today is a day where I feel like the shit just going to hit the fan. Um, I'm really, really, really stressed on this one right now. <sighs> we got fire suppression in. Uh, we have piston gauges, mounts in, built, plumb. Let me just show you guys. All right, we got our piston set up here. Front left, front right, the gauges, the Schraders for each one. And then you have, these are going to be our backups, which you can see, backup pumps. Those are all plumbed in. Everything is ran in. I still got to pull this over and clamp it. Uh, we got 
cabling in, same thing, gotta pull those over and clamp it. We got fire suppression in, we got fire suppression pull cable for the driver. And then if you're not driving it, you got fire suppression pull cable uh, if you're hitting the switch. Right now, these are live and active. Uh, so yeah, hopefully no one thinks it's funny to pull it right now because they're gonna have five pounds of uh, fire extinguisher inside the trunk or the back seat, I should say. So the last few things we gotta do, we still gotta get these hoses all mounted up. So I'm um, not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. If I'm gonna do nut certs, drill it, nut cert it, and uh, bolt it down. I think that's gonna probably be my best bet. So I'm gonna attempt one first, but I need to clamp these hoses down in the center so there's no kick on them. So that's one of our next steps we gotta do. After that, gotta start pulling power in. Right now, AJ is already uh, at the auto parts store. He's getting the correct U-joints uh, for uh, the rear end and hopefully we get one of these drive shafts to work and convert it over uh, to what we need. But yeah, like I said guys, today's, they're coming to shoot and film today uh, with Lowrider here and we're super busy. We're, we're like right on track with this car. We're really, we should be testing right now and we're not. So we are technically a little bit behind. Not doing horrible, but I, I wish we would be testing right now. Obviously, I'm filming for you guys. It's hard. I, I lose a whole bunch of time when I start filming. I'm really thinking of just putting down the camera and then just start showing you guys when the car is working. Testing time, testing time. All right, time to bleed. Time to bleed.
the car. The chief marketing officer for Monster will be giving the announcement as far as what's going on with the unveiling with the partnership they have with Loretta Magazine. Uh, they will then hand off the microphone to our spokesperson, which is uh, Richard. Uh, he's going to handle making sure that all of our industry sponsors are, are uh, going to be mentioned. As we as he's doing that, you guys get in line together to like have your crews together so when Richard's talking, he can remember and hopefully see some logos on your shirts to kind of keep it buzzing, right? Um, everything that, that happens after that little announcement is pretty much going to be mingling. So everybody's welcome to mingle around, grab waters and stuff that's happening right there, monsters, whatever. But let's just, uh, the main thing is as soon as you guys start seeing the blood out of that, that door, start getting together and ready for the announcements. Announcements will be given up Shake your hair. <laughs> And I hit these switches, see that chrome suspension Look at the car, you know who did it, I don't have to mention They know it's Alex from Hoppos, 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 Hoppos Custom work come from Hoppos, Hoppos, Hoppos I'm, I'm Rob Taylor, 504, for anybody that gotta know Alex stay with fresh content, and he keep it coming like a slideshow Never cut corners far as I know, but he cut metal with his eyes closed Control arms, reinforced frames, still killing the game You see the gun smoke from Impalas with the X-Frame Doing tricks like it came from the X-Game, everybody gotta tune in for the next